Hi friends, Miss Emily here. I am the school community coordinator at Campbell Elementary School with Civic Nebraska, and I wanted to read with you today some nonfiction. Now, what does nonfiction mean? It means that it's true. It's kind of um, tricky because when you think non, you think, oh, it's not true. But the word fiction means fake, means it's just a story. And the word nonfiction means it's true, means that it's facts. And so today we're gonna read a book about sharks. Um, I know some of you out there love nonfiction and you love to just learn about animals or people. Um, you like to read biographies, you like to read um, books that have facts in them. So we are gonna read Amazing Sharks, um, written by Sarah L. Thompson. Um, Part from the, partly from the Wildlife Conservation Society. There are more than 350 different kinds of sharks. Some are as long as a fire truck. Some are so small you could hold one in your hand. Some sharks have dull teeth. Others have teeth so sharp they can take a bite out of a turtle's shell. Some sharks live in rivers, Others hide on the ocean bottom or swim in deep water. Some sharks even glow in the dark. I didn't know that some sharks have dull teeth. Dull meaning that they're not sharp. You would think that all sharks have really sharp teeth. Almost all sharks are hunters. Animals that hunt are called predators. The white shark is a predator. It attacks from below to kill his favorite food, seals or sea lions. These animals are called prey. So if you have ever seen the movie um, Zootopia, they talk a lot about predators and prey. Predators are the animals that would possibly eat other animals and prey are the animals who have to run from those animals. The white shark can grow as long as a pickup truck. A whale shark can be as long as two white sharks. Its mouth can be wider than your front door. It is the biggest fish in the world, but it eats mostly tiny animals smaller than your fingernail. I feel like it would take a lot of tiny animals to fill me up if I was the size of a pickup truck. The angel shark hides under the sand and waits for a fish to swim by. Then the shark rushes out to eat it. The cookie cutter shark takes just one bite out of a fish, a whale, or a seal. The bite is round like a cookie. Then the shark swims away. This shark you can barely see because it's camouflaged on the ocean floor. Sharks are fish, but they are different from other fish. Other fish have bones. A shark skeleton is cartilage. Your ears and nose are made of cartilage. It bends more easily than bone. A shark can bend and twist to turn quickly when it is swimming. If you want to, maybe touch your ear and see how it bends, but it still feels um, thicker than your skin. It still feels... Um, like it has a structure. Even if you bend your ear down, it's gonna go back to where it's going. Um, that is made of cartilage, which is also what sharks are made of. It's crazy to think that we have some of the same body parts as a shark. Most fish lay eggs in the water. Some sharks lay eggs too but most sharks give birth to their babies. Shark babies are called pups. The pups live on their own. They do not need their parents. They stay away from older sharks. Some older sharks will eat pups if they get the chance. Ooh, that's scary. Some sharks eat stingrays or spiny sea urchins. Many eat other sharks. 
Tiger sharks have eaten tin cans and metal wire. Sharks have rows and rows of teeth. If one tooth falls out, a bigger one moves up to fill in the hole. Some sharks lose thousands of teeth during their lives. When we lose teeth, we only get one set again. Our teeth only grow back one time. Sharks have many senses to help them find food. A shark can hear a fish in the water from more than a mile away. It can smell one drop of blood in a million drops of water. A shark can see well underwater. A hammerhead shark has one eye on each of its long each end of its long head. No one is sure why. If a fish is swimming or splashing, a shark can feel the water moving. Sharks can also feel electricity. Every living thing gives off a little bit of electricity. People cannot feel it, but sharks can. Even if prey is hiding, a shark can still find it by feeling electricity in the water. Many people are afraid of sharks, but most sharks leave people alone. You are more likely to be hit by lightning than to be killed by a shark. People kill sharks every day. They eat shark meat or make their fins into soup. They catch fish in huge nets. Many sharks are killed by mistake in these nets. People have killed more than half of all the sharks in the world. People dump trash or oil into the ocean. They put up buildings near the shallow waters where shark pups live and grow. These waters are called nurseries. If a nursery is destroyed, pups may be eaten by bigger fish or other sharks. They will not grow up and have pups of their own. Scientists study sharks to find out what they eat, how far they swim, how deep they dive, and how many are still alive. Sometimes they go into cages under the water so they can see sharks up close. They learn how sharks live and what they need to survive. Would you do that? Would you go down in the ocean in a cage and watch sharks? I don't think I'm brave enough. The ocean needs predators like sharks. Sharks hunt fish and other animals. It is easy for a shark to catch a fish that is weak or sick, but strong and healthy fish escape. The fish lay eggs and have babies. Their babies grow up and be strong and healthy too. Sharks are important to life in the ocean. People must find a way to help sharks survive. We can stop hunting sharks. We can protect their nurseries. We can teach other people why we need to have sharks in our world. Thank you for learning about sharks with me today. Um, if you have a favorite topic or a favorite book you like to read, you should let us know. Um, on the very last part of this video will be my email address. And please, you are welcome to say, you know what, I love books about this, or I love a book by this author, or you know what, this is my favorite book of all time. Would you read it, Miss Emily? And I would be so happy to do that. 
See you soon.